So uh, what we're going to do now, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, th there's Woody down there. Woody! I lost you. Uh, <laughs> we're all going to be I lost you. Uh, okay, listen, but that's Woody. Where are you from, Woody? Where do you live now? Where do you, where do you live around? Around Oldbury, really? Around it, or in it, or just near it? Okay, so he's from near Dudley. So uh, uh, don't be ashamed to be from Oldbury. <laughs> around it. Somewhere around Oldbury. Birmingham, Birmingham, Birmingham-ish. Okay, right, so... Uh, Get on with it. Just think about it. Why don't you check? You are. Listen. What I want you to do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What I want you to do. Yeah. Is just uh, be a little bit romantic towards her now. Show her how romantic you can be. Mm -hmm. Can you speak different languages? Mm -hmm. Can you speak Spanish? Can you? No. How the hell am I going to do it then? <laughs> You're trying to just big it up before we leave tonight, okay? So um, you speak. I will count to ten in English and half a line will translate into Spanish, okay? And when I shout out these numbers, please don't shout out Bingo or House, because that's finished. Here we go. That was a numbers joke. That's a false joke, not. Thanks. Here we go. One. Uno. Two. Dos. Three. Steve. What? It's not gonna work. It's gonna work. It's counting to ten. It's not gonna work. What's the matter with you? How do I know when you get to six? Is it gonna hurt? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's visual. We'll turn the hand round. Here we go. One, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six, oh, seven, oh, eight, oh, nine, oh, ten, oh. Gracias. <laughs> <She did. laughs> oh, toilet. Okay, well, just before you go, uh, we've got some lovely news because Arthur Mark has just become a granddad recently for the first time. So, first time. Is that a nice feeling? Any granddads out there? So, uh, well done. Thanks for believing that, some of you. So, Arthur. Just tell us quickly, because his son phoned up and said, I want you to name the granddaughters. They're twins, yeah? So you named the granddaughters. Right. And how did it go? Good, at first. Yeah, yeah. How did you do it? You know the Eddie Stobart lorries? Yeah. Yeah. Eddie Stobart? Yeah. Well, the lorries, they've got girls' names on the front. Is that where you're going with this? You named the twins by reading the front of the lorry. That's a beautiful way of doing it, isn't it? Because it's like a gamble. Just read the names, because they've always got two girls' names on so you phoned up your son and said, these are the names, I found them on the front of Eddie Stover, that's beautiful. Well done, great idea. You, you're looking a bit doubtful, what's the matter? Did he not like the names? Well that's his hard cheese, isn't it? Tell us the names and we'll judge it. What's the name of the first granddaughter? Long vehicle. <laughs> what about the second one? White load. <laughs> I'll get the back of the lorry. <laughs> oh, you are at the back, that's wrong. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, officer, I don't want to go. I know you're going to have to go, yeah? No, I don't want to go. Your knee hurts. <laughs> Your knee hurts. His knee's probably hurt because of old age. <laughs> that knee's the same age as that knee, and that knee don't hurt. <laughs> It doesn't work like that. He complains a lot about his ailments all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to the uh, Winnie. I went to the chiropodist the other day. He did. He went to the chiropodist. And why'd you go there? The son of a downstairs. Ding dong. <laughs> we don't need to know about that. Ding dong. So it's not working. We need one there. So, listen. You don't talk about that part of your body. But firstly, you said you went to the chiropodist. I know. I keep standing on it. So, <laughs> So Arthur went to the cinema recently, what did you see? Uh, I went to see, uh, uh, what is it, uh, La La Land. La La Land. Did you enjoy it? No, sat there for two hours waiting to see a Teletubby. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the Teletubby. So I went to see Train Spotting 2. Did you? Did you enjoy it? Not one train in it. <laughs> it's not about trains, that's why. So I went to see that Fifty Shades Darker. <laughs> it's nothing to do with dyeing your hair. <laughs> so, uh, it's about spicing up your marriage. Do you do that with your wife? Yeah. You do? Spice up your marriage? The other day she's lying there naked. And I start putting treacle, chocolate sauce and cream all over her body. Mmm. And then I heard those words. Oh, those words. And what were those words? Ding dong! 
wrong, clean up the aisle too. Got chopped out my license. <laughs> so uh, you do have to spice things up, I know, don't you? Yeah. yeah. She said, let's start using toys in your bedroom. Using toys in the bedroom? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> then she started London. <laughs> Why? Took me six hours to set up the train set. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, you've been lovely, thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't enjoyed what I've been saying tonight, my name is Steve Hewlett. This is Arthur Lager. If you did not enjoy it, East Trees of 99 Doris Johnson. <laughs> uh, that works better yesterday. So, uh, what we're going to do is, is are you ready? Mm. Yeah, we're just going to thank uh, lovely Rosie, who's been looking after us all night. Thank you, Rosie. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs> So, uh, and if you would like a DVD, ladies and gentlemen, my brand new DVD's out. Uh, it's ten pounds, two for twenty. So, <laughs> I know. And uh, it's an hour and a half show, and we filmed it in Blackpool last year. But the reason I was up in Blackpool was because I was trying to launch the statue with Keith Harrison Orville, one of my idols. And uh, so, what we've done at the end of the season was we've done a four-hour show for Keith Harris, and there was a lot of people there, the cranky scrubble weeds. Duncan Norvell, lots of celebrities came to do the show and I hosted it and we've raised £12,000 for the Keith House statue. Uh, we're only halfway there. But it's going to, thank you very much. What we're going to do is launch that in the next year or so. We're going to be uh, putting the statue on the front of Blackpool uh, Seafront. And that is a dream and I'm doing that for his family because we were very, very close. Keith was really good to me when I started out as a ventriloquist and I'll never forget that. So we're going to have that statue made up. If you would like to see that show, the DVDs, they're double discs because they're so long and they are £20 and you'll be helping towards the statue so I'm selling them over the next year so that will help. If you don't want it, that's fine but please go on the, the website and you can see about what we've been doing. So, uh, Arthur Lager, yeah. if you don't want that DVD, you get the cheap one. You get the cheap one. You are. Arthur Lager for about half hour. Arthur Lager half hour? But you'll just be lying then because I'll be gone home. I'll be on the M6. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so. Well, that then. <laughs> so, uh, thank you. I'm glad you like Marfa Laga, but if you do want another half hour of Marfa Laga, it is on the DVD. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, so I just say thank you so much for staying, because you've given up your night tonight to come and see us. So, uh, and I hope you won a bingo if you didn't. Keep coming back, because that's what Mecca is all about, uh, supporting uh, Mecca. What are you looking at me for? Do you want to thank anyone? Who are you going to thank? You. You don't have to thank me. Do. Because you've had my back all these years. Aww. Is it die? What? What are you doing? Sing. You don't sing. If you could sing, we would have won Britain's Got Talent. I was just a piece of fun. Till this fellow bought me home. He stitched me up with a needle and a thread. He volunteered to my eye. When he stuck his hand inside. Gave me life when I thought I was dead. <clears throat> Jackie's coming, Winnie. <laughs> Steve, thank you for your helping hand. I love to have you near. Good night, ladies. Dream about me. <laughs> Though your act still needs improving, I can see you're all of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you for your helping hand. Oh, I love it when you and I go out together. We scare the posh old ladies, walking back to their Mercedes. In the middle of the car, you're here. Oi, let me out of the <laughs> Will you let me ride in the front seat next to you? The roof down and the sun upon our heads. Is it burns and I don't care? Mine's not real, at least put up there. Oh no, that is not in turning red. Thank you for your helping hand. Every day with you is sunny and bright. Although we gotta go all together now. The name of the words, it's a new song. Is it? Yeah, sugar. Sorry. Martha, late tonight. Tell me one of your stories. That, that puppy whose nose grew and grew. That's Pinocchio. If you don't mind the asking, cut your fingernails. When you make me laugh, I gotta go. Toilet. Thank you for your helping hand. Early day with you is sunny and bright. 
although we gotta go, I hope the ending of the show, he locks me in that box and says goodnight. We hope you all had fun, now we gotta run, I hope you will all understand, life is a lot better with a helping hand. I've got to go because I twisted the ankles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Winnie and Arthur Lager, give them a cheer. Cheer, Winnie. Everyone's great, guys. Good night.